Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we are going to answer a question. Um, a Muslim, he contacted me actually and he said that his prophet said uh, in the Quran, chapter 7, verse 157, uh, that his name or his uh, there's a prophecy about him in the Bible, in the Torah and the New Testament. And he mentioned to me chapter 7, verse 157. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, uh, those, actually, those verses, they are going to be used against Muhammad, not for his benefit. If you go and search right now in the internet, you will find tons of websites and articles, either talking against or with, uh, Muhammad in the Bible life of Muhammad Muhammad is Muhammad mentioned in the Bible and all of them based on what I mean either Muslims guessing that this verse is about Muhammad as an example uh, the converter suddenly the converter became Muhammad when the converter says it clearly the converter is a spirit spirit who lived forever not spirit who died and in the grave and so the, when somebody is desperate trying to find a prophet and that prophet cannot be found even in their book so they go and start guessing uh, about verses in the Bible sometime Muhammad is uh, the cornerstone which people rejected when Jesus said it clearly that the cornerstone is him and there's tons of verses in the Bible about that and Jesus himself is speaking about that when the one, the when the Muslim they want suddenly they make him the Holy Spirit when they want, when they want they make Muhammad uh, any person they wish from the Bible, but the question is as long Muhammad he mentioned this claiming that his God told him this shouldn't his God tell him which verse? If you go and read all the hadith, all the books Muslims have. You will not find once Muhammad is saying, okay, open, let us say, uh, chapter, etc., verses, etc., in the book of etc., and find my name. Why Muhammad did not do so? I mean, the, he, is, he is saying to them here, you find it there, but there is missing part of the story. Because if we find it there, then it should be there in the time of Muhammad. Let us say for the sake of argument, you know, the Christians are bad people, you know, the Jews are bad people, the Hindus are bad people, everybody for Muslims is bad people. So we are the bad people, okay, we got that. But our books is there since Muhammad time. And this is Muhammad saying, they find it in their books, where it is why he could not quote it to them in front of them. I mean, how stupid it is to say, oh, you find it about me in there, where? Where, where? I mean, what the purpose of this verse if you cannot get them busted? So you will find Muhammad, he made just a statement claiming that his God told him that, but he never mentioned where in his time. So the Muslims today, to cover the problem of their silly prophet, they start guessing this verse is about Muhammad. Anything, you know, but the Muslim, they see a zucchini, they say the zucchini is a Muslim praying to Allah, just because the zucchini is bending over. They see a cloud in the sky, they say this, is not, this does not look like a rabbit, it looks like Allah. Anything, because obsessed. They open a watermelon, they see the name of Allah there. They are obsessed with it. So here, where we can find the name of Muhammad in the Bible, where we can find such a thing, like did that Muhammadim, you know? I mean, how silly, how stupid. Uh, while in the Old Testament and the New Testament, prophecies is, is given about people who uh, not only born in a place, not only even till they are coming to be born from who, uh, it's tell, tell, you know, what they will do. Now, what is even the prophecy of Muhammad to be a prophet? As an example, if we go, if we leave this verse, and we go here, and I'm using my tablet, sorry, again. Uh, if we use here, go here, to the chapter of the moon. Ah, I'm not 
See, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the tablet in one hand and typing. Okay. All right, if we go to the chapter of the moon, and we will see Muhammad saying that, uh, look, look how many times the moon keep appearing, the, how important the moon keep almost in every verse in the Quran. I mean, if we go here, chapter 54, uh, verse number one, uh, this, this is a prophecy. Muhammad, he claimed judgment day just started. And the funny here, the Muslim they say this is one of the miracles of Muhammad, but there is nowhere it says that Allah he split the moon, and nowhere it says that Muhammad he did that too. And the moon had never been split, and it's stupid, you know. If the moon is split, the earth will be destroyed, and this, the moon will not be exist today. It's going to be two moons. So did Allah? Does the verse says Allah split the moon and He glue it again? I mean, this is isn't it stupid even to say it. When you say the moon is split, that means the moon is split. Okay, so the moon, Allah split the moon. What happened next? What, what happened? And here he mentioned that this is a sign of the judgment day. And that was 14, almost 1500 years ago. Where is the judgment day? A big failure. And then he says, didn't they say the miracles that they turn aside? This? What, what miracles? Where is the miracle? Oh, the Quran saying that the Arab keep asking Muhammad for a miracle. If we type just the word ayah, ayah, you know, uh, my, my keyboard does not have really the whole uh, letters, I mean, the accurate one. All right. Uh, you see, because I'm not able to type the word, you see here the first letter, should be ayah with madda. It's like a, a something. I'm not sure how to use this. Uh, yeah, this keyboard is not really doing good job. Apple keyboard. All right. Mojo. Go back. Um, let us go to the phone. I, I can type easy. Like I have, if I have uh, the keyboard, the keyboard is way better. Even the keyboard that I have does not have all the letters correctly. Let us see. If we go in the Quran here, it says, chapter 17, verse number 59. It says, nothing could have hindered us that we should send signs except the ancient rejecting. Do you see it? The Quran confirmed that Allah he refused to send signs to Muhammad. And this is the most stupid thing ever. Because who is the one refused signs? Make a miracle now. That even if you are, uh, let us say, a false person, a magician, you know, make things see things as it's true. And you say you are a prophet, trust me, you will find some people believe in you. You were. So, this is a false excuse of a false prophet, of a false god. They keep asking him, where is, you know, he said, do you remember the she camel? Nobody saw this. You are telling them about something they never saw. The she camel, she camel, which is a fiction story about a, a rock became a camel, a rock. So Allah can make the ca a rock became a camel, but he cannot make a, a zucchini become a rabbit to Muhammad. I mean, how silly. Do you remember the she camel? Okay, what the she camel? What does it have to do with this? This is a prophet. So Allah, he sends every prophet and he support them all with miracles, including the she camel miracle, which is most of funny, stupid miracles ever we heard of. And nobody saw, and we don't, we don't know even who was those people they're talking about. But he cannot send a little miracle to Muhammad. What about you make the, the, the dog same yo, like a cat? Forget about making a, a, a uh, feeding thousands from uh, a piece of a bread. No, no, don't do that. Uh, forget about sending food from the sky, as Allah he said to the, to the Jews. Uh, uh, forget about that. Forget about uh, resurrecting people from the grave like Jesus did. Forget about that. Forget about healing people, but just by touching Jesus or making the blind see. Forget it, forget. Just give Muhammad one miracle. You will find all the miracles Muslims claim about is just in their traditional books. There's nothing in the Quran. And as you see, it says here, we refrain from sending. If you change the translator, by the way, you will see how the translation, it's a joke, you know, the Muslim translation. It's a kind of, 
where is the translator uh, C English translation this is Shakir it is C Yusuf Ali and we refrain from sending the signs refrain I mean how clear it is only because men of former generation treated them as false we send the she camel to Thamud where nobody knows the Muslim they start guessing now where is Thamud go and read you, you will die laughing they see a rock in the middle of the desert say this is Samud the other person says no this is not the other one the same you find like the Muslims they have the grave of Adam in everywhere and, and they find that there's a grave of Adam in, uh, in Turkey there's a grave of Adam in uh, Samarkand there's a grave of Adam in Iran there's a grave of Adam in Iraq there's a grave of Adam in Syria I mean they have this look like Adam was dying everywhere so this stupid cult cannot find any base anywhere so they desperate try to create miracles so now we see uh, Quran and uh, miracle okay if, if the Quran is full of miracles what, what, so what is this we refrain if the Quran itself actually the Muslim they claim that this is a miracle the Quran itself so how you strip it you you say we refrain from sending miracles when you are by making Quran you are making a miracle but you just said we refrain It's like you're saying, I, I refrain from making falafel, and you have your camera on and you are making falafel. That is a stupid statement. So, if the Quran is a miracle, then this verse is false. Because you did not refrain, here we go, you are making one. And then we find that the Quran, you know, I mean, there's nothing miraculous about it except uh, uh, how stupid it is to be a believer in it. This is a miracle to believe in something stupid. Like when the Quran says that the sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm coming from the location of the ribs or a, a God who don't remember which one he created first, the, the stars or the mountains. If you compare between chapter 41, ch chapter 79 or, uh, you know, uh, the, the sun set in murky water and then the Muslims start saying, oh, the prophet... He did not, like, God did not say that. He says that uh, as, as Alexander the Great, he was imagining it. What it says imagining? Do you see the word imagining there? It says he found it. He report a find. And when you report a find, you report a find, not an imagination. He did not say, I mean, and the, the funny, they say that this is a book of miracles. Okay, well, if it's a miracle, well, can't you see that he found the sun set? He found it. So, uh, uh, in order to defend the stupidity of Muhammad, who believe in frictions and false stories, they start saying, oh, this is, you know, like, you know, when you walk into the ocean, don't you see the sun sitting in the ocean? He thought, first of all, do you see the word ocean? Do you ever see the word ocean? Does it say here, spring? Since when the ocean is a spring? This is about a story, legions, people believe that there is a hot spring. This is what people they saw, there is boiling spring from volcanoes. So the sun, where the sun getting its heat from? Obviously, there is a spring of water, which is muddy, murky, because it's boiling. The sun go and take shower every day and uh, jump in it. And this is how it get hot. So, in order to cover the stupidity of Muhammad, they start saying, oh, this doesn't say that, you know, okay, we, if we go, we will find Muhammad saying that exactly. You know, if we go in the hadith, let us see, here we go, let's go down, we go to the hadith. Oh, uh, this is a hadith I was reading, you know, it's, it's funny, about uh, uh, Ibrahim, Abraham, he cut himself, uh, uh, he, 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 <laughs> he circumcised himself with the hammer. The, the hammer in Arabic is called Qaddum, which is, uh, let me see, hold on, uh, this one. I mean, you see the Prophet of Allah, how smart he is. This is how he could circumcise himself. I mean, how big uh, that thing was. Man, Ibrahim must be a, like, his private part was a, like a, a, a camel nose. Sorry, a, a, an elephant nose. He, he did circumcised by this? Like, are you sure? <laughs> anyway, so if you go, we go back to the topic. You know, sorry for, if we go here, you will see Muhammad, he says, that the sun set in a, in a murky water. 
But you will not find the one Muslim saying, oh, the Prophet says that. No, they will deny it. They try to say, no, here we go. And you cannot say this is weak and the garbage you say to us always, you know. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah and he was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? Eh, Muhammad, he liked to ask always because he want to show that he is the, 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 the scholar, he is the scientist, he is Dr. Muhammad. He, I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. Muhammad, he loved to hear this. Allah and his apostle knows best, you know. You see it? Eh, I tried to hide it. I mean, I highlight it with my finger. All right. So Allah and his apostle knows best. And he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. <laughs> so how come all the Muslims, they come with, we try to find an explanation. Muhammad says something the opposite. This is the, this is the miracle that you have a donkey, the donkey explain what he meant. All the believers in the donkey, they say, no, he don't mean that. <laughs> so I hope I did answer you about the stupidity of, uh, you know, claiming that Muhammad can be found in the Bible when Muhammad he failed to find himself in the Bible and Muhammad he failed to find for us where is the Gog and Magog the you know like this fiction story the sun he, he, the guy keep going until he found where the sun set and then he found where the sun rise and he found on Muhammad he found that the sperm coming from the backbone of a, of a man the ribs of the women Muhammad cannot even find out how, how Allah created the earth the mountains first or the stars first one chapter says so one chapter say the opposite this is clear, stupid book. And actually, even Muhammad himself, he says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, which means he meant uh, other than God, right? Uh, uh, I'm not used to use you know Arabic in this uh, tablet. So he, Muhammad here, chapter four, verse number eighty-two, saying uh, that why they cannot consider the Quran? Like why? Actually, this sentence alone proved to us that Muhammad was not saying something should be considered in his time, because this verse is said because nobody want to consider such a stupid book. So why they don't consider the Quran? Well, the answer is there. If it would be uh, 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 not from Allah, surely they have found, uh, you know, contradiction. Well, the whole book is contradiction. Go to compare between chapter 41, chapter 79. This is the easiest one. One saying the mountains created before the stars and the other one saying the stars created before the mountains. Very simple. And all the Muslim scholars agree that the earth created before the sky. And if you go and read Ibn Kathir, you will see that the earth created and then there's a smoke come out. And this is where the verse says that the, the sky was a smoke. Which means the sky, there's no sky, but this is smoke from the earth. Because Allah was cooking there. <laughs> flying carpet, flying horse, the ring of Solomon. Solomon, he listened to the ant and he's, he, he laughed at the ant. But the ants are deaf and they don't talk and they are mute and they communicate by vibration or chemical. This is all stories from the Legion of the Jews. You can go search right now in Google. You will find the Legion of the Jews. You will see the story about the ant, the punishment of the grave. This is something he learned from the Jews. All those are fiction stories. So my friend, the one who sent me the email saying uh, that we can find your prophet in our Bible, I say to you, we can. Yes, we can. The Bible says, you know, from their fruits you shall know them. And Muhammad is an evil man, a uh, child molester, a very ugly person, a rapist. And at the same time, Jesus, he said, be aware of false prophet, you know, and teachers. And they will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but the fact they are wolves. So I hope I answer your question. And feel free to download my video and share it with your friends. And I hope soon we will go back to our normal uh, work to go live on air. Until then... I want to say thank you, God bless you, and I miss you all. Take care. Bye-bye.